Tonight, remembering Anthony Bourdain, a chef and travel host who really brought the world into our homes and influenced the food industry globally. And Bourdain was in France working on his culinary show, Parts Unknown, when he was found dead in his hotel room of an apparent suicide. Anthony Bourdain was 61 years old. Now, a few years ago, Bourdain brought his show to Provincetown, where he got his start in the restaurant business back in the 1970s. Of course, he went on to become a worldwide star in the decades since, but the people of Provincetown remember him as just a regular guy. WBZ's Bill Shields has the story. If a young, aspiring chef could start anywhere, perhaps it would be here in Provincetown. With this wide array of restaurants, this is the place that has inspired many chefs, including Anthony Bourdain. But here in the 70s, they called him Tony. Sure, it was a fun time. Uh, you know, I don't remember a lot of it, but Tony remembered everything. Uh, Tony remembered everything. Tony had an amazing memory. He remembered everything. John and Anthony became close friends in the hazy 70s. Yingling started Spiritus Pizza, which gave rise to a small empire of Provincetown restaurants. Tony traveled the world and became famous. But it was always the food that brought them back together. He was trying to show the connect connectivity of people, like how people are connected, how food connects people. Right? And he went around the world doing that. Bourdain may have eaten in Vietnam with Obama, but it was always Bourdain's quest for knowledge that drove him. He didn't want to know just how to cook scallops. He wanted Bo Gribben to show him how they caught scallops. Bo took Tony to sea. No, he's like a down-to-earth guy. It seemed like I knew him my whole life. Fun day of scalloping? Yeah, fun day of scalloping, a lot of laughs. We, we, we laughed and talked about a lot of different things about Provincetown back in the day. It's been a long time since Anthony Bourdain lived and worked here in Provincetown, but at least for a few people, he left them with some really good memories. In Provincetown, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News.